What's up, y'all? So anyway, I'm trying to get as close to my face as I can. Um, I'm going to be doing another derma pen session on my face. The last session that I did, it went very well. The only thing that I noticed, I experienced was just um, not. I didn't even. I didn't even need any um, like anything to, to numb my skin, such as like um, Little King. Um, or basically any anything at all like I didn't I mean some people have very sensitive skin I do have sensitive skin um, but I mean like what I'm trying to say is basically like their, their level of um, pain to their pain tolerance level was like very low and I have like a very very high pain tolerance I've been told by my aunt when I was younger that I was a masochist um, because I used to I won't even say, but I used to do something really crazy. Like I was crazy. Like I used to like bend my fingers back as a kid. I guess I don't know if it, it has something to do with anxiety, um, but it was like very relaxing. And I don't know people like that. You would call like like a masochist. Um, and um, you know, basically, I, I would do that. You know, and um, you know, masochism is basically people who love pain. So I don't love. I don't like pain. No, I don't. But I can tolerate it. So anyway, what you want to start by doing before you use this, because this is a professional device, but it is a professional at home use device. So I recommend that you um, do as much research as you can. I will be putting some videos on the left side of my um, video here. It might come on, come on, uh, come over to the right side of my video. Uh, well, it did come out to the left side, actually. I think I don't know. Anyway, so um, as many videos as I shot, I should know that, right? So anyway, the first thing that you always want to do is make sure that, and I already explained this, but I'm gonna be nice and go ahead and explain it again. The first thing you want to do is stop using your skin products for a while. You know, especially if you're what you know you're using like skin lightener, skin exfoliators. Um, such as like with me, I'm using, gly I was using glycolic acid soap, I had ran out and I need to get some more and kojic acid, you want to completely cut that out. Anything that is exfoliating your skin, you want to stop using it for two weeks, to a uh, week to two weeks. There are some products that you can use, um, I forgot what they're called, but actually they're to get your skin pre-started so that when you go ahead and use the micro, um, the uh, derma pen or micro derma roller, which I find the derma pen much more effective because it's on par with uh, fractal laser surgery which is much more effective and efficient and it gives you like um a quicker healing time you know like the healing time is very quick and you won't experience like it's more for people with ethnic skin um the derma pen is that it that is because it won't cause anything like hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation which hypopigmentation means is like extreme lightening of the skin um, in certain areas, which I have some hypopigmentation on my hand, um, which is crazy. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is always wash your face. Well, the first thing is what you, what you want to do is what I should say. Second thing you want to do after that is just wash your face before you go ahead and do a session. Um, and then you want to basically um, use something in antibacterial. 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol is always great. 75% 65 to 70% is fine. Um, get rid of all of the dirt and residue from your skin. Um, and basically bacteria. So um, basically you already know what the alcohol will, will do is remove a lot of uh, just bacteria from the skin and it will um, actually protect the skin from any infections that might try to seep in because once you do it, you know, like the derma, uh, derma pen or derma roller session, um, trust me, you're like, you're going to have little tiny, tiny, tiny little holes that you might not be able to see. Um, you might be able to see it if you overdo it. I noticed that, but I still didn't experience um, anything. I did experience, what I did experience that was positive is that my um, depressed scarring is, the, is looking a lot more flatter and I will um, take a picture of that. So I'm really loving that. But anyway, let me go ahead and disinfect my face. I don't know why I'm getting my eyes. It's just a habit. Um, I might not do my whole face, so. Save a video for another day, right? So, um, I'll be right back. Cause my, uh, this time on my thing is just killing me. 
but some professionals, um, because there's some, there's a lot of professionals that 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 you know they recommend that you can, you know, you can do it at home. Some don't, you know, they don't, they, they uh, wouldn't suggest that you do it unless you know, because a lot of people don't know what they're doing. Is um to actually basically, um, how can I say this? I forgot what I was just about to say. But anyway, um. Okay, so yeah, that's what I was about to say. Some recommend that you use hyaluronic acid, um, and or you know you can use like hyaluronic acid mixed with vitamin C, or vitamin C serum. Uh, Oz Naturals make one of the best hyaluronic acids and um, vitamin C serums. The reason why that is you want to use that is because hyaluronic acid contains. Uh, you know, some collagen proteins in it. Basically, what am I talking about? Um, actually, hy uh, hyaluronic acid is contained um, in collagen, and it is basically a molecule in it. If I'm if I'm wrong, you know, I can't really. My mind is like really like I'm tired right now. But it's actually uh, within the you know the, the basically biological structure of collagen. Um, and as I explained what collagen was before, uh, when you lose collagen, your skin tends to become wrinkled, it, be it tends to become saggy, um, it tends to, basically you will get depressed scarring. Um, the more trauma that is, bad trauma that is caused to your skin, because this is trauma, um, you know, using a derma roller or a derma pen on your skin is causing trauma as well, uh, but this is a positive kind of trauma. And um, the negative kind of trauma is actually coming from like scars and stuff like that. So the positive trauma basically is actually, what it does is actually help to stimulate what you already have in your body, you know, underneath the dermis and epidermis layer of your skin, okay, uh, which is which is collagen. So it basically causes uh, trauma. I was gonna say blunt trauma, that's not blunt trauma. Blunt trauma is basically having a freaking, um, what do you call it? Um, so anyway, uh, if you was to get hit, hit in the chest really hard, I remember my uh, conclusion. So anyway, um, let's get this thing started. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more alcohol in my hand. Okay, just to uh, make sure that I kill off any more germs. That's what I also meant to say is to kill off any germs. Um, and to get rid of some extra dirt and oil. Um, you can't really see it, but I'm on camera focus. I hate this stupid camera. Anyway, so uh, the choice that most, uh, a choice of uh, products, and I just said that already, um, hyaluronic acid, something you can use. I've seen like some professionals use water as well. Um, you want something that will help the derma roller to glide smoothly on your face. You don't want any friction. You know, I mean, cause th these are needles. They're going to be piercing your skin and as you move along, the needles can actually tear your skin. Like, I mean, if you, let's like say for example, this is the needle, if you go ahead and don't have anything to help uh, with, you know, um, helping to, what I was exactly just saying, helping the needles to move around, um, you know, so. I'll be right back. I don't know if you all heard that, but, um, for some, I don't know, like my, my mom just came out the kitchen. She made some some lasagna last week. You know, like leftovers are the best. And I I, I, I don't know if you just heard that, but something fell in my kitchen. Like um, the top that was on the lasagna bowl fell off of the bowl. I don't know how that is. It sound like, I don't know, it fell. I, listen, anyway, unexplainable. But you want something to uh, lubricate your face grammar. If you're haunting me, girl, you better leave me alone. Go with Jesus. Uh, can't wait to be with him too because I swear this world is almost over but anyway let me stop you want something to lubricate your face because as I was just getting ready to say as soon as the needles pierce the skin um, and your face is not well lubricated they can actually drag and tear into the skin it's just like basically taking a needle or a little tiny 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 knife and just slashing your skin so not that bad I'm making it seem like it's that bad it's not that bad um, just like little tiny uh, baby kitten claws is what I would say, just, you know, scratching your face if you don't lubricate, okay, why am I getting my eyes? Lubricate your face, um, well. So let me go ahead and wipe off this oil from my hands because, um, I don't want this on my derma roller, you know, anything that it could cause bacteria, okay? So, um, don't touch anything, you know, 
unless you have lotion on your hand or something, but when you have like a lot of oil or something on your hand and you go ahead and touch something, you will uh, basically get some bacteria that will grow on that item that you touch. So I'm trying to wipe off as much as this oil as I can, but that's as much as I can get. So I'm using two millimeters, um, as you can see, if you can see. Where is this thing here? Come on. Okay, and two millimeters is basically recommended by um, the instructions. Or we, I mean, if you already know about the Draymond Roller, if you watch my videos, you are one of those subscribers that really come to my page. Um, two, two millimeters is uh, actually used for scarring, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get this side first. And what you actually wanna do is just start, this is not at a high speed that I want. The crossword method states that you go horizontally um, go horizontal, okay? And then you basically would go uh, vertically and crossword, like. So anyway, uh, my video is gonna cut short here. I'm gonna continue to do this off. You know what, let me go ahead. My bad, y'all. So I have to delete a video. I can't wait to get my Galaxy S8. I seen it and I'm going crazy. I'm like, this thing is so beautiful. I couldn't get it today. Thank you, YouTube. Um, for fucking our revenue up, but let me go ahead and start this over. The faster it is, the better, the less painful. Let me try to get a good angle here. Let me try to get some good lighting in here. I'm so sorry, like, I'm not a professional, like, I am, you know, I mean, with taking videos, I know how to edit and everything, but... It's not like I have a cameraman. Most of us YouTubers don't have a cameraman, you know? So, big and small. So what you would do is just actually, um, I want, I'm trying to get like a really good angle. I want this to be a good video so you can actually see Maybe I should just move my light over a little bit, but I don't want to go ahead and touch my, put my hands on um, everything because I, your pore, not your pores, but your skin is going to be a little bit open and that can lead to infection. So as you can notice, you're supposed to hold your skin taut. What taut actually mean is um, to tighten. And that will actually help the needle to glide across your skin in a more even and a more even way and as I say I have a high tolerance of pain I know some of you say that this looks scary but it's not scary like the first time that I actually did this um, you can notice that the skin is looking a little sunburnt. Yes, some black people can get, um, I mean, have skin that appears sunburnt as well. Um, it's just basically a very, very, uh, scarlet red type looking color. And this is actually what you want. Um, so anyway, what I was going to say is like the first time... I use this. You don't want to get like the bony areas. I don't know why I'm going across my bony areas with it's with it's you know two millimeters. Um, but you want to go ahead. So let me stop getting the bony areas there. Um, what you want to do is use like zero point twenty five to zero point fifty uh, millimeter needle. My nieces and sisters getting ready to come here. Um, and a few, so you might hear some noise in the background. I apologize. So the skin has become a little bit red. The thing that I love about the Derma Pen is that you don't experience 
any shedding of the blood. There's like no blood drawn of whatsoever. You'll notice it in the needle. And I'm not even really noticing it in my needle, but sometimes, I mean, the last time I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this because I don't want to make this video for too long. Um, I'm gonna just basically start off vertically with this and then I'm gonna get the other side of my face. Okay y'all, so what I went ahead and did is I got this side pre-started because I don't want to make my um, this video for too long. Um, but some of you might be interested in actually washing through this whole thing. Just like a book, you know, if you don't want to watch somebody's, you know, the whole thing of somebody's, you know, um, intervals of somebody's video, you know, you can just, like, what you would call, um, flip through it, skim through it, uh, basically what we would call, um, just skimming through the book and see which part sticks out to you, okay? So, um, I got pre-started, I work horizontally, and, um, I don't believe I got, did I, no, I didn't get vertically, I didn't do, um, and I, I love the way the light lights up on this thing. I wish it could be a, a blue light. Blue is my favorite color. And I see it on technology, which I love technology. Um, it makes it looking real. I, I don't know. It's something about blue on technology that just gets me. Um, but anyway, I don't want to do this too much. Remember, I'm using two millimeter needles. Um, and you want to use two millimeter needles in order to get rid of scarring. Um, any other areas on the face that you want to get, such as areas like this, if you have any scarring, which, you know, my, this, I'm losing some collagen in this area, you can go ahead, um, and basically work your way around in this area. Um, you can work in circle motions, but as I said, I recommend that you go ahead and inform yourself, educate yourself, okay, um, knowledge is key, and it will get you very far, not only in life, but with other things as well, okay, so, um, my sister is here, she just came to visit from PA, so you might hear her talking in the back, but you don't want to do this for, like, too long, um, really what I was saying is that you don't, you, um, if you don't have, like, scarring in this area, and you, you're just, you know, uh, basically wanting to do this to give your face a lift, to exfoliate your skin because you um, want for your skin, you want to just enhance your skin, you would uh, go ahead and not use 2 millimeter needles on this area. You would go ahead and use uh, 0 0.25 to 0 0.50, okay? So it doesn't take that much to work in this area as much as you would with your cheek area and we I mean we all already know the reason why that is is because the cheek area is much more larger so um anyway I'm going to get my forehead area and under my eyes but I won't be doing it on camera because I, I basically don't want this video to be too long so um I went ahead and worked my way basically uh, vertic uh, vertically, horizontally, and in a crossword method in this area, and um, I'm going to go ahead because I did work in a crossword method um, here, but uh, see, it's kind of confusing when you're looking at the camera. It's like, okay, which way should I go? Uh, but actually, it's this way if you can feel your way around your skin. So, um, when you're getting the temple area, you would use 0 0.25 to 0.50, but I recommend 0 0.25. Um, I have some hyperpigmentation there, so 0 0.25 would be effective enough to help uh, a skincare product like my Tritanoin to um, really, really, really effectively remove that skin from this area, area so that it can be renewed. So. Anyway, for those of you who are subscribed to my page, thank you so much for being subscribed. For those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, also, like and share my videos. Don't forget to give. Don't forget to, to leave me a huge. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and go ahead and leave a comment. Even if this video doesn't have anything to do with you, I mean, you understand what I'm trying to say. Still leave a comment, and um, I hope you all are having a great weekend. And take care.